Hello guys and welcome to my Project Wax update for the month of October where I share with you guys all the candles that I'll be using this month. So I do have one empty to share with you guys as well as one candle that I'm going to be taking out of the project. And then I have of course progress as well as I'm introducing four new candles to the project. So let's get started. So last month, I really did not focus on one single candle. I was just burning everything across the board. So I only have one empty to share with you guys, and that is Affogato Espresso from Homeworks. I did just mention this in my September empties video, which I'll link up above, because I did finish off more candles that I didn't share in the project wax. But yeah, this is the only one that I finished off, and I was right about here. So I was pretty much almost finished with it anyways, but it burned all the way down to the wick clips. Just a really great, super simple coffee candle from Homeworks that I really thoroughly enjoyed. This next one I will be taking out of the project just so I can focus on some more autumnal kind of scents. And that is Cinnamon Spice Vanilla. I really enjoyed having this one in for the month of like September, August slash September going into fall, but I feel like I have other scents that I want to focus on, so I'm taking this one out. I did get a little bit of progress just from here to here in the last month. Um, obviously, I wasn't using it anyways, so I'm just going to take it out and probably bring it back in like January or February when I still want cozy scents, but I'm kind of over fall and winter. Okay, updates. I have some pretty good updates on my candles. So the first one is Pumpkin Pecan Waffles in the beautiful Paisley packaging from last year. Now I know there's been the jalapeno chip scandal, honestly the past couple of years with pumpkin pecan waffles. I don't know what's wrong with it, but they just can't get the formula right. Um, this one, however, is not jalapeno chip, but I do have a hand soap from this year that smells like jalapenos. I don't even understand how a hand soap could smell like that, but the pumpkin pecan waffles hand soap from this year in the gel formula smells like jalapeno chips. It's so weird. Anyways, I'm enjoying my regular pumpkin pecan waffles without jalapeno in it. Um, we went from here to here in the last month. Not a ton of use, but I definitely love this one whenever it's either a football game is on or we're just having like a cozy movie night. This one is great. Next for my apple scents, I do have apple crisp, which I just put in the project last month. And we do have progress from here to here. So this one is caramelized apple, cinnamon crumble, and sugared oats. It is such a yummy apple scent. It's so good. I've really been enjoying it in the living room. It's super strong and very cinnamon heavy. So it kind of gives me like apple pie vibes. It's really good. So I've been loving this one. And then another apple scent that I have is In the Stars and Honeycrisp Apple from the Blends Collection. And I only got a little bit of progress from here to here on this one, um, mainly because this is in my bedroom and we have not been spending like any time in the bedroom. Like I literally just sleep here lately. I don't know what it is, but we've been pretty much downstairs. I've either been editing videos to go up daily on this channel um, or Ryan and I have been watching TV shows and stuff. Our latest obsession was Culinary Wars on Netflix. It's a Korean cooking show and it was so good. It was like super dramatic. So we've been staying up late watching shows and like not really even spending any time in the bedroom at night. Um, I'll literally read for like 30 minutes before bed and then go straight to sleep. So it hasn't even been worth lighting a candle for. So yeah, this one did not get a lot of progress, but hopefully we'll see if I can get some more in the next month. And the last apple scent that I have is Homeworks Hot Cider Donut. I did have this one going for a girls night Halloween party and everybody said it smelled so good. The notes are harvest apple, cinnamon sugar, vanilla bean and spice cider. So I did get honestly not a ton of progress because I think that was the only time I burned it just from here to here. So a little bit of progress. This is one of my favorites for autumn though. I will definitely be pulling it out closer to Halloween. And yeah, it's just such a really good cinnamon sugar donut hot apple cider kind of scent. One that I've been really enjoying in the kitchen in the mornings is pumpkin cinnamon bun. This was, I think, my favorite fall candle last year, and it's coming in a close second to apple crisp uh, from this year, but it is probably my second favorite fall scent right now. But pumpkin cinnamon bun is warm cinnamon roll, pumpkin spice, and vanilla frosting. 
and I went from unused down to here. I'm more than halfway done with it. It does look like it's murky, like the color has definitely changed on the wax, but it doesn't smell like that. The smell hasn't really changed at all. I just love it in the mornings, especially like a Saturday or Sunday morning, this going, but just in the mornings in general has been really nice. It's yummy. It smells like cinnamon rolls. It's so good. And then one that shockingly I have not been using a lot is pumpkin peanut brittle. And I saved this one from 2022 because I absolutely loved it in the past. And I'm just like not feeling it this year. I don't know. It's crunchy caramel brittle, salty peanuts, and toasted pumpkin seeds. There's just something about it. I'm not really enjoying it this year. I don't know if it maybe it's because of the weather, like it's not cold. It's not even not hot here yet. Um, maybe that's the reason, but I just haven't really been gravitating towards it. So I only have a little bit of progress from here to here. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it in. I feel like the next cold snap, I'll want to use this, but just kind of haven't really been feeling it. So next I'm going to put in four candles and all of these are not new candles. They are actually candles I've had in my collection for a couple years now. The first one being Goose Creek's Hocus Pocus 2 candle. This is Halloween night and this one came out last year, two years ago, I think two years ago. And I am about halfway on it. You can see this one is basically just a candy corn scent. So it's really just like marshmallows is what it smells like. It's very, very simple, super sugary, just like a simple vanilla. There's nothing really special about it, honestly. So it was kind of disappointing. But I think for this packaging, I will have to start using it for Halloween. Just how beautiful that looks. And I feel like at night, it'll be really awesome. So I'm going to put this one into the project to start using this month. Another Halloween candle that I'm going to put in is Wicked Vanilla Woods. Now this one is brand new to my collection. I picked it up in my most recent Bath & Body Works haul, which I'll link above if you guys missed it. But yeah, this one is unused. I haven't even tried it yet. I haven't lit it once. I feel like this is gonna be really good for Halloween when I'm getting super spooky and watching movies, but it just smells exactly like Wicked Vanilla Woods and the Body Care does. It's magical vanilla, glowing amberwood, and enchanted pink pepper. It's woody, it's spicy, it's very good. It's kind of spooky smelling. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this one out, see what I think of it and use it for like movie nights. And then since we are nearing Thanksgiving as well. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my two Thanksgiving scents so I can get a head start on them. I have a feeling I might want to reach for them near the end of October. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put in my two staple November scents and that is Harvest Gathering and White Pumpkin. So I've had these for a couple of years now just because like I said, I really only use them around Thanksgiving for like a few weeks in November. So the first one is White Pumpkin and this packaging on this one is just so darling and so beautiful. I love these little pumpkins. The notes are ginger and white pumpkin, caramel glaze and warm blended spices. This one is already, it's already been lit. It's still about right here though, it's really full. It kind of smells like pumpkin cream cold foam mixed with like potpourri. I don't know, it smells really good. I think it's like perfect for late fall when it's actually a little colder. So I really enjoy white pumpkin around that time. And then Harvest Gathering, which I've also had for a few years. This one is from, oh, it's from 2023. Okay, sorry, never mind. I got this one last year. The notes are fresh picked apple, autumn berries, and clove buds. So this one is super clove heavy. It's like an apple clove scent. It's super, super deep and strong. And I am about right here. I'm pretty much halfway. Just smelling it makes me think of like stuffing, cornbread, and turkey. It's so good. I definitely feel like I'm going to be reaching for this. Honestly, I might even light it up today. It is a super strong scent though. Probably like a 10 out of 10 on throw. It is very, very strong. So if you're not an apple and clove girly, don't get this one. But if you're looking for like a quintessential fall scent, this is really, really good. So that is everything for my fall project wax update for the month of October. I have a lot of different scents in here. I have a lot of variations. So I have a feeling that I can kind of go for anything that I want in the next month, but I really should focus on a few. So let me pick out, I'm definitely gonna focus on hot cider donut because I'm really close to finishing this one. And I'm gonna focus on pumpkin cinnamon bun and and pumpkin pecan waffles. I feel like all of those are really good gourmands that I'm gonna want to reach for anyways. So I'm gonna commit myself to finishing off three those three candles in the next month. 
hold me to it. <laughs> but anyways, that is it for today's video. Let me know down below what has been your like fall candle of October. Let me know. I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. But thank you so, so much for watching and I'll catch you all in my next video. Bye.